From a time in the military, I was used to heavy ballistic blades made from ceramic. Of course, there's still a place for them, but modern plates today are super lightweight. They even float in water. And I was curious, how many bullets would it take to penetrate a blade like this? So I placed some shots. <laughs> for this, I was driving to Austria to the shooting range from Edelweiss Adventure. And there I had the opportunity to shoot at the plate. For me, it was important to place clay behind it. At first, let's see what happens when I hit this clay with my fist. Keep in mind that the fist punch is super slow compared to a bullet shot, even though it was a hard punch. So let's see what happens when I shoot at this clay with a bullet. Okay, that's a different result. Now in slow motion. Damn. I do not want to talk about physics, so let's just massage this piece of clay with some more bullets. Now let's take a new piece of clay and protect it with this protection group Denmark Ballistic Plate. It's also important what ammunition you use, so here is the data for the ammunition. Now you will see why the clay is important for tests like this. Not only the penetration itself matters, also the force which is transferred to the material behind does matter. But still, no penetration, that's good. But this has to be a hard punch. Let's add a second one. The second one is again a super hard punch, but still no penetration. You can see the foil is ripped, but the clay looks fine, just a deep, deep dent. And the backside of the plate, only the material ripped a bit, because it's not flexible. Now let's measure how deep those dents are. Of course, it's still important to note this is not a super precise test, this is just an improvised field test without any standardizations. Now let's shoot it some more. The picture on the left is from a thermal camera. So the third hit is clearly visible on the outside, but this time the foil did not rip and it's again no penetration. And this is how the plate looks on the backside. The hits are more visible from the front. The plate is still quite stiff, so let's try to shoot it again and see how it performs. I will repack the clay in a different foil so it doesn't fall apart. Nice. Yep, same again. And again, no penetration at all. So now, before this gets boring, let's give it some more shots. Yeah, so this is some kind of a massage to this thing. I was looking in the clay for pieces or holes. I was not able to find any holes or any metal pieces. Yeah, the upper dent is quite deep, but still no penetration. And in the lower part, no visible penetration. But that's it with measuring how deep the dents are. So here's a summary, so you can get an idea. And we will take a closer look how the plate looks with all the bullets inside later in this video. And now let's pack the clay again and let's see if we can get a good visible penetration with some more shots. Yes, okay, the hit was super close to the edge, so it seems like the bullet got a bit deflected and slid from the plate into the clay. This is not real penetration of the plate, but yeah, still a problem.
but this can happen with every plate. Now let's add some more shots. Now you can still see no penetration, only some dents in the clay. Now let's go full Rambazamba. Now finally we have some penetration. But in real world scenario if you got hit that many times you have other problems. But now let's take a look inside the plate. You can see it's pumped full with metal and it started to be flexible. The first layer of protection is this outer layer in black. It protects the ballistic materials from moisture and also from abrasion. The plate consists out of different layers glued together and since I hit it that many times I now can separate the layers. And this is the foam on the back and this looks like uh, aramid or Kevlar from the color. So you can see only some of those hits even made it to this last layer. And now when you fold it like a book you can see in the beginning there are a lot of impacts and bullet fragments and as you go further back it gets less and less. And only in the area where I have shot several times on the same spot, there we have the penetration through the whole plate. Yeah, that's it. Now you know how many bullets of this kind a plate like this can take. I think that's an impressive result. Of course, it's still a super hard punch to the chest. Maybe it will break your ribs, but it will not make holes in you. So, nice thing, especially because they are super light and they float in water and they also have higher protection levels available. So make sure to check out Protection Group Denmark. I will link them down in the description. And yeah, if you like, tell me in the comments what do you think about ballistic plates? Which kind of plates do you use? Because there are different materials like ceramic, steel, these <laughs> uh, polyethylenes and so on. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to be watched by you again. Bye.